We're still working on Pythagorean's theorem. And here's our theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The hypotenuse is always our c squared. The hypotenuse on this particular one is this long one, and it's always the longest one. It's always across from our box here. So now what I'm going to do is fill in the information. Uh, I know that this is 10 squared. I know that's my c. a and b, it doesn't matter what order they're in. I'm going to pick a is 5. 5 squared plus x squared equals 10 squared. So this is going to be 25 plus x squared equals 100. 10 squared is 100. I subtract 25 from both sides. x squared equals 75. In order to simplify this one, I take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to square root both sides. x equals the square root of 75. Whoops. Now, 75 can be reduced. This is 25 times 3. 25 is 5 times 5. So if I wanted to rewrite this, x is equal to the square root of 5 times 5 times 3. I see my perfect square here, my pairs. I grab those, I pull them out. And then that will give me my answer, x equals 5 radical 3. That is my length of my site. Whenever you're doing this one, you're just plugging it in. If you get something like this, where it's not a perfect square, you'll actually have to simplify it the furthest that you possibly can. In this case, it would be 5 square root of 3.